very gloomy New York City. <laughs> I always feel kind of weird when Mondays start off on a very gloomy note. I feel like I'm not as energized or not as motivated, so I kind of wish that it was really sunny out, but we're gonna make the best of it. I am going to a solid core class in two hours. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with solid core, it's Pilates on the mega former. If you guys haven't watched my last vlog, I signed up for class pass last week. So this is gonna be my first class that I do through class pass. And I'm just gonna try it out for a month um, and see if it's something that I like. I've been wanting to kind of mix up my workouts a little bit, but buying individual workout classes in New York is so expensive. It's like, I bought one SLT class last week and it was like $42. For one workout class, it's insane. But anyway, we are gonna give class pass a try. I'm excited. I've already been to Solid Core many times in the past. Um, and so I'm prepared for <laughs> the torture that I'm about to put myself through. But it's one of those things where you just always feel better after. And I'm glad that I already booked it because now I don't have an excuse not to go. <laughs> Other than that, we're just gonna be having a nice little fall vlog together. I'm just putting some of the Laneige lip mask on. I love this stuff, my battery's gonna die, hang on. <laughs> this is the first week in months, like probably since May, <laughs> where I have like a pretty much completely clear schedule. The only thing that I really have this week is a meeting with my agent on Thursday. I am holding for a job, but I'm not sure if it's going to go through considering that the job is shooting this week, so we'll see. But it's kind of nice. It's like a weird feeling, actually. My goal for this week is to get ahead on YouTube stuff because um, next week I know I'm traveling for work. And then I'm also working on the weekend, so I'm not gonna have that much time to film. And I also just wanna kind of get ahead for the upcoming holidays. Like I know I'm gonna be away for Thanksgiving and all that stuff. So that's gonna be my goal for this week. Just gonna put on a little powder so that I'm not super shiny. I'm also gonna try and do some like maintenance things that I haven't been able to do because of like scheduling. I wanna get a laser touch-up. I usually do like two laser touch-ups a year. One in the spring, like before the summer season, and then I usually do like one in the fall. And then I also really wanna go see Ozzy for my brows. I haven't seen her in a little while. I feel like my brows could use a little tint and shape. So I'm gonna see if she has some availability this week. It'll be nice to just kind of like do some little self-care things. So I'm gonna get ready for the workout and then um, I'm gonna try and take you guys along. I don't know how busy it's gonna be, but I do know that you're allowed to film at Solid Core. So I'll take you guys with me to the workout and kind of show you what it's like. Just got ready for my workout. I'm wearing this navy set from Lulu. I need to go to Lululemon again soon and get some more workout stuff. I put on this little yellow label hoodie to go with it. It's not exact match, but it works. And then um, over that, I'm gonna wear my leather vest. So yeah, it's just this oversized leather vest. I got this in the spring, so I don't know if they would still have it available, but I will try and find it. If not, I'll link something similar. There's so many different vest options out there. But yeah, I just, I love wearing this to the gym or when I'm like running errands. It's super warm and cozy without wearing like a full on puffer jacket. That was incredibly hard. <laughs> Like way harder than I expected to be honest. Especially the first 20 minutes of class was just abs, straight abs. Planks, uh, plank crunches, like oblique things. I was not expecting that, but now I feel really good. So 
glad I got that done. I didn't film as much as I wanted to, but there were a bunch of like new clients in the class and the trainer had like kind of assigned all of the experienced people to one of the new people. Um, and I ended up just chatting with this girl like throughout the class and I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable like putting her on the camera, especially considering it was her first time. So I'll try and film more next time I go or next class that I do. Um, but yeah, you guys get the picture. It's basically just Pilates that's done on a megaformer. And it's really hard. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods because I, I've been like on this recipe kick. I don't know what has sparked this in me. I don't know if it's because of the change in the weather, but um, I've just been like wanting to cook new things and try new things. So yeah, I found this salmon recipe that I really wanna make. It's a pistachio crusted salmon with like a zucchini and orzo salad. So I'm gonna try and get those ingredients and then we can make it together tonight. Almost forgot to show you guys what I'm having for lunch, but I've been loving these little snack plate lunch meals. Um, I just find them so fun and easy. So I had some chicken that I got delivered over the weekend that I hadn't made. So I made that in the air fryer. I'm saving the rest for tomorrow. And then I just have the other half of my avocado from this morning on some arugula, a couple of raw veggies. I love raw veggies. I know it's not everybody's thing, but I think they're amazing. And then I have some feta and underneath the feta is some jalapeno hummus. And so this is gonna be my lunch. Okay, we are gonna make some dinner together. I'm very excited about it because I found this recipe on Instagram the other day. Well, it just came on my explore page. And um, I'll find the video for you guys so you can see, but it was just, it just caught my eye. It looked so good. And hopefully I'll be able to recreate it just as well as the girl in the original video did. I mean, I think this looks pretty good. The thing about these recipes is when I see them, I'm very inspired to make them. I just could never come up with this combination on my own. I don't know, I just, I think it probably comes with experience and time and knowing what flavors go with what, but I just could never come up with that on my own. The only thing that I'm gonna be changing about the recipe is that I'm gonna use rice instead of orzo. My body just digests rice a lot better than it digests pasta and those kind of things. I don't know why. Sometimes I'm fine and sometimes I just don't feel very good the next day. And so um, I'm just gonna stick with what works for me. You guys can do what works for you, but everything else is gonna be the same. So I'm gonna set you guys up as always and we're gonna get started.
next day I'm like half dressed, I have one shoe on. Um, but I didn't wanna forget vlogging. I was actually gonna end the video last night, but I remembered that Sarah and I are going to Central Park and I just can't think of anything more fall in New York than going to Central Park when the leaves are changing. So I'm gonna take you guys along. I forgot to update you on dinner last night. It was so good, highly recommend. You guys have to try making that salmon. It was really easy, honestly. Um, but the best part is that I made way too much of that salad and so now I have leftovers for lunch today and probably dinner and tomorrow, so we love leftovers. <laughs> 